You are listening to The View from Laura's Window, a podcast where life is explored through positive Christian thoughts. Everyone has a window, and each window has a different view. Here, I hope you will find the view to be encouraging, inspirational, and useful as you walk through your daily journey. Sometimes our view may not always be clear or focused, but through this podcast, I hope you can have a much better perspective. So open up your windows, your hearts, and your thoughts to the encouraging view from Laura's perspective. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I am Laura, your host, and today is Monday, and I hope everyone had a great weekend and you were able to have the best Easter weekend that you could possibly have had, considering that we're doing online church now. So um, today is episode number 52, and um, I was going through some of my books, and um, one of them I bought, I think, a few years back when we first moved here at a bookstore, and it is called Whispers of Hope, 10 Weeks of Daily Devotional Prayer, and it's by Beth Moore. And I want to read it to you because it just, I just do. So here goes. Since you are my rock and my fortress for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Psalm 31, 3. Life is hard, always has been, but people in past generations were usually only aware of hardship in their immediate sphere. Our present society is graced with satellites that daily dump worldwide disasters in our living rooms. Good still exists out there somewhere, but let's face it, it's not news. Daily doses of the world's meanness, violence, and depravity take their toll. Our natural result of constant contact with negative influence is a hard heart. In reality, our hardness of heart is nothing more than a fortress we've constructed around a frightened heart. We build layer upon layer of protection to prevent being hurt. Tragically, the same fortress that won't allow the hurt in also won't let the love out. Our fortress of self-protection becomes our prison. Whether or not we realize it, We spend untold effort in attempts to avoid pain. Yes, even Christians. Do you journal your prayers? If so, check it out. Notice how often you've asked God to deliver you or someone you know or love from pain. I'm not suggesting that we can't or shouldn't ask God to deliver us from pain. We have biblical permission by Christ's example in Matthew 26, 36 through 44, and Paul's example in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 8, to ask him to remove any thorn or cup. I am suggesting, however, that we adopt a new eye-opening perspective. The goal of life is not the absence of pain. It is the presence of God and the glory of God. When he can work glory Without pain, he does. When he can't, it's going to hurt. But it's also going to be worth it someday. That's in Romans 8.18. Abundant living is impossible behind the walls of our self-constructed fortresses. Anything we've done to protect ourselves will work to imprison us. If we don't risk our hearts, we deny ourselves some of life's richest experiences. I'm certainly not proposing a life without protection, but only one way exists to find protection without imprisonment. We must make God our fortress. Only God can hem you in from every side, yet set your feet in a spacious place. It's only in his protection that we remain free. After the Oklahoma City bombing, Garth Brooks, an Oklahoma City native, 
wrote a song with his basic message. It's not that I think I can change this world, but I will not let this world change me. He sang a very biblical message, Romans 12, 2. Let's not grow cold with this world. Let's risk it. If it hurts, we won't break. If we're in Christ, we're not nearly as fragile as we may believe. It's time to let God cut away all the layers we've built around our hearts. And that's in Deuteronomy 30, verse 6. Christ is your fortress, your protection. Go ahead, live a little. Thank you for listening to this episode on um, Monday. And um, I also want to let you know, tomorrow will be my first episode on uh, Tuesday's talk, my very first guest. So please come back tomorrow and listen in on what we had to talk about. And also, um, as soon as I get the website up, I will start posting the Zoom videos to where you can actually watch them. So next time. Love you guys.